Imagine you're in school, spacing out in the most boring math class. Everything you're seeing is gibberish. From here, you feel hopeless on ever getting a decent grade in your exam. Sound familiar? Trust me when I tell you, I've been in your spot before. But in this video, I'm gonna share how I got out of this cycle, what I've learned throughout my college life, and a few tips to ensure your success in math. In my opinion, the first thing you need to know is that the formulas come from somewhere. For me, knowing this is the most important factor to your success. When I first learned algebra, I would literally cry because I didn't understand anything I was learning. I mean, why did they include letters in math, right? It made no sense. I was memorizing so many things like the quadratic formula, the distance formula, sine and cosine values, you know, stuff like that. But it really helps knowing that these formulas didn't pop out of nowhere. There's a reason they're like that, and they actually come from somewhere, right? For example, let's look at the distance formula. The distance formula is given by the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, right? Now this seems kind of confusing at first, but if you look at it properly, right, you'll notice that this is basically a right triangle. These two terms over here just represent the legs of your triangle. So the distance formula is really just an application of the Pythagorean theorem, which is pretty cool, right? Now, most formulas that you learn in class, you'll be able to derive things like this, you know? You'll be able to see that, hey, this is just an application of this other concept, you know? So knowing these things and understanding the concepts this way, for me, really helps with your sanity when it comes to math. Because it's not like you're just memorizing things for nothing, right? You actually understand where they come from and why they're being used this way. Another tip I can give is that creativity is king. Math is a skill, and most people think that it's all about memorization and applying what you memorized to a question. But they can't be more wrong. One important thing I've learned as an engineering student is that there's multiple ways to look at a problem, and even more ways to solve them. For example, look at this triangle. If I asked you to get this area, you would probably instantly think, oh, I memorized the area of a triangle, right? That's one half base times height. So I'll just use that formula and I'll get my answer. Technically, that works, but again, you're going to the uh, memorization route, right? I want you to try to be creative with different concepts that you can apply in getting the area. So for example, you can realize that maybe trigonometry would work, or maybe you can use similar and congruent lengths and angles, right? So there's lots of ways to attack this problem. It's just that you need to learn how to be creative in finding out these other concepts that you can apply to solve the problem. So know that you have many tools at your disposal to attack any math problem. Once you learn how to choose the correct tools, then you're on your way to success. And I promise, solving math problems would feel like fun little puzzle games instead of chores that you'll have to do. The third tip is practice. Okay, no one ever wants to hear this, and whenever I watch tips on studying, right, they always say practice, but you actually do need it in math, in my opinion. If your goal is actually learning math, practicing the concepts you've learned is like sharpening the tools that you have at your disposal. Or... Well, you know what I mean, right? It helps you get used to, and it helps you get comfortable to all the formulas and concepts that you learn. So in the context of exam preparation, this will also definitely help you. So let's say your practice paper okay, asks, if Adam has two apples and Brian has three apples, then how many apples do they have all in all? Now, imagine that in your actual exam, they ask you, Hey, if Vince has three oranges and Charles has four oranges, right, then you'll recall, hey, I did this problem before. They just changed some values and some names, but I kind of know how to do it, right? So that's the same concept as studying for harder things in math, right? You see in your actual exam that what they're giving you is just something like your practice paper, and you'll know exactly how to solve it. So practicing helps you not only learn the math itself, but it will help you do well in your exams as well. My last tip, but definitely not the least, is try teaching to learn, okay? Does that make sense? Teach to learn. 
So you guys don't know this, but one of the reasons I made this YouTube channel is to actually review math for myself. For example, making my Calculus 1 video helped me recall those concepts. And trust me, Calculus is everywhere in engineering, so I really needed to practice basic derivatives and stuff, right? So in a way, this YouTube channel is also my way of practicing math. You can do the same, right? You, well, you don't need a YouTube channel. I actually used to just talk to myself when I was reviewing and pretending like I was teaching math to someone. But that's exactly what you can do, right? If you can't teach this concept to someone, or if you can't explain these math concepts in simple English, then that means that you don't fully understand it. So that probably means that you'll have to go over the concepts again until you can finally explain it to someone who doesn't have any knowledge of that concept. And for me, this tip really helped me understand the basic fundamentals of math. Once you're able to dumb down these complicated math stuff into plain English, that's how you know you've mastered it. And all in all, I want you to just take it easy. I know that math isn't for everyone, and it definitely will feel very stressful when you're in your exam and there are all of these formulas and things to remember, right? But just remember that, well, these exams are just a small fraction of your life, right? So have fun. Consistently practice just a little bit of math every day and follow these tips. And I assure you, if you keep an open mind, you'll eventually feel better about math as a whole, right? And I'm sure that your grades will eventually be a reflection of your learnings. So I hope that one day you'll learn to appreciate and you'll learn to do well in math.